While the northbound lanes of I-65 through Lafayette remain closed tonight because of more safety concerns. It's the second time this week the interstate has been shut down because of issues on the Wildcat Creek Bridge between State Road 26 and 25 near mile marker 173. The first one was more than 29 hours long. This one is at 10 hours and counting. News 18's Brittany Tanner joins us live and reports the closure has caused a ripple effect for traffic throughout the greater Lafayette area yet again. Brittany? Dan, ever since the northbound lanes opened Wednesday night, engineers have been monitoring the bridge. Today, around 1 o'clock, they noticed some unusual movement and closed the interstate. And yet again, local drivers have been dealing with long delays. A mess drivers were sitting in Friday evening. It took about 45 minutes just to go from the interstate to Sagamore Parkway on South Street. It's the second time this week drivers in the Lafayette area had to deal with long delays. We don't want to come back until they fix it. The delays came after the northbound lanes of I-65 were shut down because engineers noticed unusual movement on the Wildcat Creek Bridge. Similar concerns shut down the interstate Tuesday afternoon. We've been monitoring the bridge since reopening it on Wednesday night, and our uh, structural engineers noticed some movement in the same pier and ordered the bridge closed. NDOT spokeswoman Debbie Calder says although the movement is in the same pier, it's not the same problem. As of Friday evening, she doesn't know how long the road will remain closed. We're going to figure out what's uh, the issue with this bridge, figure out how we can get it repaired and get it reopened as quickly and safely as possible. When asked if she thought the interstate reopened too soon, Calder says no. We would not have opened it if we uh, believed that it would still be unsafe. And while crews work to assess the situation on the bridge, Drivers try to remain patient. What the heck? It's no use getting frustrated. Because he's not driving. That's right. <laughs> NDOT is using the same recommended route for northbound drivers as they use Tuesday and Wednesday. Drivers are being directed off the interstate to US 52 in Lebanon. Then they'll take State Road 28 to US 231. Take a left where 231 tees back into 52, then take a right to continue on 231 at Montmorency, then it's 15 miles to I-65. Of course, if you already live in the Lafayette area, northbound drivers can get on the interstate at the State Road 25 exit. Reporting live in Lafayette, Bernie Tyner, News 18.